Hello Internet, uh, it's Coleman and this is going to be my first video in a series on programming, more specifically programming a, a chess application. So I've already made a good deal of progress on the application, I've been working, it for, working on it for about a month now, and the idea behind this video will be simply to catch you up on the features that I've implemented so far, as well as inform you of the problems mm. I've confronted and the features that I would like to implement in the future and subsequent videos would obviously address those things. So without further ado, let's open up the program. And it's a Java program built using the Swing application framework and I'm building it using NetBeans IDE. It's running on Java 7.0. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure that's very relevant. But anyway, I've called it Tyrannus because I wanted to call it the King. Turns out there's already a well-known chess engine called the King. It's the one that Chess Master runs on. So then I say, well, what's Latin for king? Rex. So I called it Rex for a while, and then I did, decided I didn't really like that. It was like a dog name, so I settled on Tyrannus, which would be Latin for the tyrant. So the idea behind, of course, I'm going to make the welcome screen nice and look good, but my idea is to get the program to work first and then make it look nice. So why we have two different buttons for play or analyze? Well, play, the idea behind this is that if you click to play a game it would be something rated or something where the the game the program doesn't offer you any assistance where you have a time limit something much more official seeming whereas analyze the game would help you it wouldn't be so official or locked down things like that so I haven't implemented the analyze button yet so right now we're stuck with play. No, I have not yet implemented the AI, but the hope is that one day I could just check these and slide the difficulty up, maybe have the computer play itself on a high and a low difficulty and watch it beat itself. That would be an extremely gratifying thing to watch. But at this point in time, that's not yet implemented, and neither is the timer. So, yeah, I'm saving the timer for later because I feel like it's going to be something quite simple to implement, and... I wanted to tackle the hard stuff first. So here we have the the main program. And up here we have a sort of notification area. We have where our time is going to be and we have a move list. So this little panel can be hidden and shown. If you hide it this way, that's fine. You can show it back. Housekeeping issues, but you know, I had to implement them at some point in time, so I figured I would show you. If we click on a white piece, the game analyzes its possible actions and shows them to us by drawing green. And as we mouse over them, actually I'm clicking and dragging at this point, but as we mouse over them, it, they do get highlighted. So if we were to move here, we have in our move list, Knight B, meaning N is the abbreviation for Knight because they couldn't use in why is it they couldn't use K because K is king excuse me so we have in B meaning the knight that was on the B file moves to C3 this is just standard algebraic notation anyway if we move a pawn we get E5 and as you can see the previous move is highlighted in red so that you're not left wondering where your opponent went if you looked away for a quick second so if we were to click on the knight, these are all its possible moves. It won't let it move here or here because, of course, those squares are occupied by a friendly piece. I know it sounds very basic, but, I mean, someone had to implement that feature at one point in time. And someone being me. So if I move this pawn, I'll show you a capture move. Of course, the, um, the capture square is now highlighted as a possible move because there is an enemy piece there so it will allow capture and then in the move list it does indicate that it knows that that was a capture move with the X E takes F4 is how that would be read so now if I were to place a piece in check let's place the um, let's try to place the black king in check here alright so queen is checking the king and the notification shows us this check. The black king is now being checked by the queen on e5. So if I were to try to make a move that didn't really address the check and left it alone, the game would tell me, no, that's an illegal move. Black's king is being checked by the white queen on e5, so I must address that issue. If I interpose with the bishop, 
that works. It's no longer check and it is white's turn. So if I move somewhere over here, if I were to move this bishop, that would be an illegal move because it would expose the king to a check. Does the game know about this? Yes, it does. If I try to move the bishop to any of these squares, it informs me that that is an illegal move because the black king would be in check by the white queen on e5. Now I know that it is still highlighting these squares green, at indicating possible moves. Um, that's still by choice at this point. I'm not sure if I want to eliminate those. Um, that's just one of those decisions I'll have to make down the road. But uh, anyway, it's black's turn. So if, what's the one final feature I can show? Oh yeah, so castling. Can black castle? Yes, black can castle. Does the game recognize it as a castle? Yes, it does. It, um, that's actually the standard notation for a castle king side. Castle queen side has um, another dash and another O after it. So things I have not yet implemented, I think the biggest thing is checkmate. The game does not know about checkmate, so I'll be making a video pretty soon in the future um, addressing how I'm planning on implementing that feature and also catching you up on how I've implemented the logic of the rules of chess um, in the first place. Of course, I'll hopefully make a video one day explaining how I've implemented the timer and anything like that that I will add, I will make a video on. So thanks for watching. I hope this uh, will be an entertaining series, and uh, see you next time.